Hey YouTube, Tom here. Uh, wrapping wrapping up this evening. I'm uh, getting ready to smoke my Dunhill pipe and my nightly ritual of nightcap, which I mentioned last night on last night's video. Thought I would take a few minutes. I was gonna I'm gonna show you um, a tour of my office here at my house. This is where. I smoke in the house, so I'm going to show you my smoke eater that I use, um, and I'm going to give you a, if you'll notice the cabinet there behind me, that's my, uh, it's a five foot humidor, I've converted it into a pipe tobacco cabinet because I bought so much pipe tobacco in the past couple of weeks, and so now my pipes and where I've become a tobacco, pipe tobacco snob, that's where all that stuff's at, so. I'm rocking my Nashville Cigar Club t-shirt. I'm the president of the club, so we've been doing that for a few years now. We've been going on four years now. So, I'll, I'll give you a quick tour of my tobacco cabinet. Um, I'll show you how messy my desk is right now with pipe paraphernalia all over the place. I guess where I've gone through so much of this Dunhill nightcap, I guess I can honestly say it's probably my one of my favorite, it, I guess it is my favorite tobacco. It's the only one that I definitely look forward to every evening. Some people think it's a little too strong. I think it's I think where I smoke so much throughout the day, I probably don't notice how strong it is. But it's a really, 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 really good tobacco to finish off the day. Um, also, in this video, I'll show you the little tripod that I'm using on my desk now. And I'm only going to show you the cabinet um, just shelf by shelf. I'm not going to drag everything out. Maybe one day I'll set everything out. Uh, my tobacco, uh, I don't want to say collection because I'm, I'm going to smoke it, is small comparable to a lot of you guys. I know there's a lot of you new pipe smokers that will probably be more impressive to you guys. But considering that this is all stuff that I bought, Oh, just during this month, a little bit light. I guess just after Christmas, I started smoking the pipe again. But I got a little bit more hardcore into it this time around. So, with that said, let me give you a quick a quick tour of everything. Um, I'll carry the camera around. I don't know how the, the sound quality is going to be. But I'm sure you'll get the gist of it. So I'll show you that now. Alright, I'm going to show you my uh, tobacco cabinet. This was my humidor for a while. Um, I've had to take my cigars out. I'm going to put them into something else. They're in a the cooler door right now. Uh, this is a five foot cabinet. If you hear that noise, that's the. Uh, there's a unit at the bottom here that does the humidity control. I've got it set on 50. Got a few odds and ends down here at the bottom. And all these jars here are pipe tobaccos. Uh, back here in the back, it's Frog Morton. Uh, I can't see back in the back. There's a I've got two bags of the Stonehaven. Two bags of eight ounce bags of Penzance. Next shelf up, we have uh, back in the back there. This stack here is six tins of the Balkan Sobrani. Uh, you got a few tins here of stuff that I'm smoking. It's kind of hard to see everything. There's some stuff back here that I haven't smoked yet. Black House. Uh, this is Jackknife. Uh, some of the stuff that I got from you guys, um, if it's enough to fill up a jar, these little jars right here are the perfect size for. Um, 
they'll hold exactly two ounces of tobacco. Um, they'll hold a full ten. Uh, squadron leader. Over here we have a few others. Uh, some more Penzance. Got one, two, three, four, six of those. I keep my pipes up here on the top. The ones that are facing the opposite directions are these are the ones that need to be cleaned. See my dragon tooth tampers are in here. Uh, all my pipes are on the top shelf. I keep everything in the humidor. So, just like I'd want to see that. All this stuff is what I bought in the last two or three weeks. Um, but that's my uh, that's my tobacco cabinet. So I thought y'all might want to see that. And I'll show you um, a few other things here in a moment. So that's the tobacco cabinet. And a lot of you asked about smoking in the house. Uh, this is my uh, smoke eater. It is a Idyllis. It will do 1,200 square feet. It's actually a nice unit. Um, it actually kicks on on its own whenever it senses uh, smoke in the room. So any odors causes it to kick on. So real nice unit. So that's why that's how I'm able to smoke in the house. A lot of times if you see me do videos where I do my box openings here where the aquarium's at, uh, that's uh, you'll I, I usually have to turn that off because you hear it on the video. So. But that's uh, my tobacco cabinet and my smoke eater. So I thought you guys might want to see that. And this is my desktop. This is another place where I do videos. You usually see me sitting here where the uh, um, tobacco cabinet is behind me. Of course, there's YouTube's up. So checking out your pipe videos. Um, there's my uh, Dunhill getting ready for my nightly uh, Dunhill nightcap. That's usually my late night smoke. And this is the tripod that I used earlier today um, that will, it's got flexible arms so I was able to use that on um, the fence outside. And my camera that you see a lot of my pictures. I use a Pentax. Uh, I used to be a Nikon guy but I use the Pentax K10D. Um, my desk is a, is a wreck right now, so, um, keep a can of butane, my lighters and everything, a few odds and ends, some other bags of tobacco that I haven't, there were some samples that came in, so, all oh, bore, kind of boring, yep, soft drinks, so, that's my desk, all right, so, that was my, uh, pipe, pipes and tobacco cabinet tour, and kind of give you a better idea of where I sit and smoke or where I do a lot of my videos. If you see me in here, it's the office. Uh, I do box openings at the kitchen table. That's where you usually see the, um, the aquarium in the background. Sometimes in the morning I'll do pipe videos from my living room. Uh, it has good light coming in through the windows. Uh, I like to sit there and have my coffee. It's usually where I can chill out with the dog and relax. One thing about some of the videos I've been watching on YouTube lately, though, is a lot of you guys really should pay attention to your lighting. I know my videos are not perfect, by, you know, but I mean, I do make sure you can see the pipes that I'm showing you. Um, I'd always try to make sure there's good lighting. Watched a video earlier today, and it was just dark, and the guy was showing a pipe that he just bought. I couldn't see anything. I mean, he could have been telling me he had a 12-inch a penis and trying to show us, and we just have to take his word at it. So. Not that I would be interested in anything like that, but just an example of... It's almost like uh, the videos you watch when they're trying to hide uh, who the person is during an interview. Without the garbled voice, of course. There's a pet peeve of mine. And another thing, too, if you guys are doing videos and you notice that you're, it's yellow, the color of the screen is yellow when you're doing videos, check your white balance on your cameras. Um, most uh, newer video cameras, even I noticed on... Uh, even on the iPhones, they have a white, a lot of them are set for auto white balance. But look into that. If you, you know, look at the model number on your cameras, Google it, uh, put your model number and your, um, and then put white balance. And usually they'll show you how to do that. I'm not trying to tell you, tell you how to do videos. I've only been doing this a short time, but just a friendly uh, word of advice, just to kind of make your videos a little bit more 
Um, I'm going to watch them anyway, but it's just it's just nicer when you take the time to do that. Especially when you're trying to show somebody a pipe or you're trying to show somebody the texture of a pipe tobacco. That's going to help quite a bit. And it does make it, it's going to help you with subscribers. I'm up to 170 now, so I've jumped up quite a bit since I did my uh, 100th subscriber video. But, just wanted to do a quick video this evening to wrap it up. I did a did one last night. I don't think I'm going to do one every night, but wife's in the bed. I was trying to watch the NASCAR race, and it's under a, under a delay. I don't know if you guys are into NASCAR. I, I used to be hardcore to NASCAR back in the late 90s, but it, it kind of grew out of it. But for some reason, I wanted to watch the Daytona 500. I guess being a Monday night, it was either that or um, some kind of reality TV show or something my wife would have wanted to watch. But I don't watch a lot of shows. I do a lot of sports. Watch the news quite a bit. Uh, there's a couple shows like uh, Justified, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Walking Dead. Uh, there's a few shows, uh, Spartacus, that comes on. Stars, I like it. Looking forward to... Uh, got a couple other shows that I'm looking forward to that are coming out. It's um, Game of Thrones. Uh, that's a very, very, very good series. If you haven't watched it, it's out an incredible uh, series. I've heard the books are great. I, I'm going to probably read those after I finish a book that I'm reading right now. But just wanted to pop in and share, uh, give you a little tour of the pipe cabinet uh, or the tobacco cabinet. I don't really know what to call it, but just wanted to check in. You guys, uh, have a good evening and, uh, We'll sit here and finish this pipe. You guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll probably do a video tomorrow.